Hey friends, were you looking for some easy to do guides for Komodo? And in particular, the Cloud Sea Archipelago content? Yeah, me too. I've been working alongside my guildmates to make a guild guide for this part of the content in particular to try and make it as easy as possible. However, as days goes on, the system is a lot more confusing than expected, and as I unlock more things, I am also realizing a lot of early mistakes that I made. So I'm still continuing to learn more every day. So please keep in mind that when watching these, information might not be 100% correct. More efficient ways of getting things done will probably be put together much later. I would love to get a detailed guide out as soon as my archipelago is completed. I figured getting out these shorter videos to folks uh, would be a better option to get everybody started. So let's get right into it. So what is the Cloud Sea Archipelago? Cloud Sea Archipelago is a system where you make friends with the creatures of Dream City. You recruit them to the archipelago where they create buildings, help you get buffs, and in the future, there should be special buildings for crafting and rerolling on your ancient gears in particular. Why should you do it? If you plan on farming in the new zones, you should at least complete probably the first two days of content in order to unlock special buffs specifically for farming in the new zones. This is similar in concept to the wasteland maps and the tree buffs which apply in the applicable maps. Do I need to rush Cloud Sea Archipelago? I would say the answer is no. Since the buildings for ancient gear are not implemented in the first part of the Komodo patch, you don't necessarily have to rush it, however, you may just want it over with. So a quick thing to mention before we get started is that before I realized how convoluted everything was, um, a lot of early of the quest lights, I don't have a lot of video footage, but I will do my best to walk you through where everything is, at least is on the minimap. So please be patient, uh, please feel free to post any questions in the comments if something does not make sense. However, I'm going to do my best to be as detailed as possible, at least on where to go until uh, future quests and future days will have a little more video put into it. How do I get started? You get started by starting the main quest line in Komodo up until the leader asks you to check out what happened in a fantasy book in the town and you get ported in, you start meeting the new creatures, and then the town unlocks. In order to unlock the archipelago content, you have to talk to a candy sister, which spawns in the top left corner of Dream City, and she will go through the portal to, and you continue your quest from there. After you initially unlock the archipelago quest, candy sister will show up in this little area on the map, after Candy Sister has recruited recruited you to help with the manor, she wants you to go find Hikiki, who is over in Sweet Dreamfield. So to get a quick way to go over to Sweet Dreamfield is what I do remember is that Dream Tune area was the only area unlocked early on. So it should be this building over here. You can click on that to quickly teleport. And then back to Dream City is right over here to the left. Once in Dream City, I don't remember if this stuff was unlocked early on or after you do a bit more of the quest line, but you can also click these buildings to quickly teleport around and head over to Sweet Dreamfield, which is in the bottom left part of Dream City. So again, you can just quickly use the buildings to teleport around. I'm going to post a quick screenshot of where I found Hikiki for the quest. He recruits you to pick up something called Screw Vines. It's simply just a pickup quest. If I remember correctly, it just spawns over here. You pick up the items and turn them in. And then you simply go through his dialogue and recruit him into the archipelago. Once you have recruited Hikiki, the Mead Fountain is unlocked. It's located right in the center of the map. Mead Fountain has two purposes. One is to unlock weaponry research, which is related to your dispatch, when you can unlock the gondola on day two. The right side is called battle training. These are your permanent buffs that you will have available while farming on the Komodo maps. On day one, you should upgrade your battle training four times. This is to unlock 
the next quest and recruit another companion. Mikiki should be hanging out uh, over here in the mead fountain to give you your next quest to recruit Spinda. Once you receive the quest, you can head back all the way to Sweet Dream Field to find him. Once you find Spinda over in Sweet Dream Field, you're going to want to invite to join him in the dialogue options with him. However, he doesn't want to join you. So what you have to do is you challenge him to a race. So you must be victorious in the race versus Spinda. Uh, quite honestly, you can kind of just click on the minimap. There's kind of traps and stuff in the way, but even though they temporarily stun and slow you down, um, you still are much faster than Spinda. And you can race him once a day to increase your bond with him. After winning the race with Spinda, you accept O during the quest dialogue, and then he will accept the archipelago address and also join the area. And that's about it for day one. Primarily, you have unlocked Kiki, you have unlocked Spinda, you have the Mead Fountain, and that means that you are all prepped for tomorrow. I do hope that this guide has been helpful so far. I'm going to be adding a couple of extra thoughts and extra tips, and I will see you in the next video. And just for reference, Candy Sister looks like this. The game does give you hints using the manor book on other things that you should be doing next. However, because certain things are time gated, it is still a little confusing on when the best time to do what is. I do want to touch on the Mead Fountain really quick. Because the Mead Fountain is your first building and unlocks all these really fantastic buffs, um, you probably want to go all in to get these. You do need to save materials to upgrade buildings over the next couple of days also in order to progress the quest line. Now you could take advantage and simply farm up for the first couple of days before continuing. I think that's a per perfectly, perfectly valid strategy. One unfortunate part is that they can show up kind of basically anywhere on the map. So if you're looking for somebody, or for instance for a daily challenge, um, they really can be anywhere in any one of kind of these corners like this. Are you someone that is used to using the lock camera on your phone or on the emulator? Well, with this update, um, you're kind of going to really, really hate it. For whatever reason, they designed these new maps with a lot of front clutter happening and it's kind of confusing to go everywhere. Of course, you can just use the mini map, but you know, I kind of, I, I kind of want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Personally, I think the worst map that this problem occurs in is probably the C Coco Monster Beach, which is right next to the main Komodo city where you can find rogues, crabs, and beer penguins. Um, it's just really difficult to find maybe uh, targeting the mobs you're looking for, especially the rogues because they spawn kind of randomly and they don't seem to spawn their models correctly for whatever reason so i would say you might need to start getting used to the 2.5 which makes it a little easier um, or even the 3d helps you get a much better view of everything going on i would have to say even with a, a beautiful view like this and having the ability to see it um this was kind of an awful awful design change this guy is definitely my spirit animal.